Good Tuesday morning, prayer partners. Back again as we continue The God I Never Knew by Robert Morris. So when I refer to his wife, Debbie, we know that this is a man who wrote this Bible devotional. The Holy Spirit is. A few years after Debbie and I got married, she wanted to buy a new comforter for the bed. We already had one that was handed down to us, and it was pretty worn out. After I got the stock of how much a new comforter cost, we went and bought it. I still remember it because the new comforter was beautiful and looked like it was going to be really comfortable. In fact, I was looking forward to getting in bed all day. Then at bedtime, I got to the room and it looked like someone had stolen our new comforter. Debbie had removed the new comforter and put the old one back on. I said, where is the new comforter? She responded, oh, that's not for us to use. It's just for looks. That's when I learned there are certain things in our house that are just for display. Put out for a nice look, but never really used for anything other than decoration. Then there are other things that can, are actually used for their intended purpose, such as a comforter that provides warmth and comfort. Those are real comforters. The type of comforter that's perfect, especially after a long, hard day when you're physically and emotionally exhausted. It isn't, isn't it wonderful to wrap uh, yourself up in a comforter and get some much needed rest? What many people don't realize is that the Holy Spirit is our comforter. We mistakenly think that he is just for looks or show. And we never allow him to truly comfort us when we're exhausted of going through the storms of life. He wants to be your comforter, your helper, your friend. Not only is the Holy Spirit your comforter, he is your God. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are one God with separate personalities. He is a person and is present to help you in the Christian life. He is there to give comfort, help, and friendship. Do you want to know the Holy Spirit like that? Ask the Holy Spirit to reveal himself to you today. And today's memory verse is the same one from yesterday. Does anybody remember? John 14, 16 through 17. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, and that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth, which the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, or you know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, thank you for being my true comforter. I don't want my relationship with you to be for show. I want to really know you. Reveal yourself to me today in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, blessed day seeing the Holy Spirit reveal himself to you. And as always, enjoy Jesus.